Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and if you can see from my surroundings, I am not at home right now. We're actually at camp um, down in Central Florida, and I had a few minutes by myself with everybody gone. Well, most everybody. You'll still hear four-wheelers and people coming in and out of camp, but I have the camper to myself for a few minutes where I could go ahead and film this. I was working in my planner, and I saw on here film pantry challenge, which I was supposed to do the beginning of the week and it just didn't happen way, way too busy. So I am trying to get this taken care of now. Um, I had seen the January pantry challenge, um, over at Sutton's days, Lisa at Sutton's days had posted that she was going to be doing a 2018 pantry challenge. And I thought that that was a wonderful idea this is a really good time to be eating out of the pantry and really trying to watch our pennies after christmas um and and just using utilizing what we have now i am not going to be one of the ones that can eat out of our pantry and fridge and freezer 100 percent um, i am very well stocked but i do not keep a lot of perishable items on hand um, i don't keep gallons of milk in the freezer uh, nor do, sorry, four-wheeler going through, um, nor do we have cows or goats or anything like that for milk and butter and cream. Um, so there are perishable items, lettuce, um, for salads, fresh fruit, that kind of thing. Um, any dairy and fresh fruit and vegetables I will be purchasing from the grocery store each week. Um, I'll take you along with me as I meal plan. I meal plan by the week. Um, I usually meal plan on the weekend when I go grocery shopping. And like I said, I'm going to be working out of the pantry with very few items from the grocery store. And I look at some of the other women's channels and I just am amazed how they spend under $50 in a week for groceries. Um, I definitely don't do that. So I, I'm going to make this a personal challenge for myself to really try and cut our grocery budget. Now, my grocery budget is not separate from my household budget. I buy um, paper towels and tissue and dog food and cat food and chicken feed and, um, you know, stuff for the kids' schools and projects and you know, everything comes out of my budget every week. I don't have a separate budget, but I do want to try and work to try and shrink my actual food budget down because I know it can be done. So I'm going to try and work on that. I will meal plan weekly and um, post my meal plan for the week and I will actually film some of the meals that I cook and if there is a meal that I am cooking I will make sure to link the video if I've already um, made that meal in a previous video because we always tend to fall back on our old standbys that we're very comfortable with and we know how to do. Um, I will also, when I get back to civilization again, um, I will link my pantry tours um, and my freezer tour so you kind of have a general idea of what I am working with and I will also link my previous pantry challenge. Um, I think I did that one daily. I think I posted a daily video for like 30 days. So I'm probably going to squeeze that down into a week at a time instead of having a lots of little short videos. I'll post my week of meals and I'll post my grocery hauls each week, what I have to purchase from the grocery store. So I'm really looking forward to doing this. I appreciate Lisa from Sutton's Days um, for putting it out there and inviting others to join in. So I, uh, I'll be starting mine on the 2nd um, because we will not be leaving camp until the 1st. I might film what we have at camp, um, our dinner that we do at camp because it did come out of the pantry <laughs> and I brought it with us. All of our groceries and stuff pretty much came out of the pantry and um, brought them with us. So I'm getting a nice little storage of, um, of dry goods and stuff at camp. Um, and then we just bring uh, our frozen and cold food and perishables down when we come and I'm leaving dry storage and camp um, so that when we go back and forth, I don't have to bring so much each and every time. So I am looking forward to seeing what everyone else is going to be posting 
for their pantry challenge is always such a cool thing when you can get ideas from other people or you see a really cool recipe. I know I am going to be looking forward to uh, Lisa's recipes um, because she's doing the low carbon keto, which our family will be doing after the beginning of the year. We're definitely going back to low carb. Um, we've all put on some weight, <laughs> serious weight this in the last year or two and including the kids and um, need to get it taken off, you know, just for our health. So we're going to work on 2018 as being a much more healthy year and being more careful with our pennies and a pantry challenge is just the way to do it. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Hope you're having a wonderful day.